can you keep a secret? I've been a bit indecent. I tried text sex. Yep, sexting in a lockdown context. Well, it beats phone sex, adds compositional skills, edging thrills, and it kind of fulfilled, or at least passed time pleasantly, with the novelty, if slightly more comical than heavenly. So it was with a friend who's a total flirt, who wouldn't be hurt. Turned out he likes to send dick pics. And he can write, is brave and bright. His body's tight, he's young. It felt all right. He's both polite and dirty. He excites me as kind and didn't shame me for not playing photo tennis while he was graphic with his penis. I was a little shy. I had butterflies. What if my nudes were released? Would I ever find peace, be freed from societal shame? And yes, I'd be to blame for paying perverted games. So I refrained. However, it did seem a little unfair, so I later sent him some tasteful nudes taken with flair and care without much underwear to see if he'd like to stare at my semi-naked form. And yes, he said it got him warm. I mean, it's looked down right and we're both randy but can't travel to perform the act. So made out shacked up, home alone, our situation augmented masturbation has its frustration. Yet writing out our fantasies did kind of both tease and please our wishes didn't need to agree in some ways we could verbally flirt more freely and easily virtually on a smartphone than if we'd been physically at my home we don't know each other well but aren't afraid to tell one another what's true and although new this helps us to get through curfew so i admit i offered video sex next if he promised not to record it to photo or store it i'd had issues with porn with an ex since it got a grip of his mind and time negative history was making me wary an hour later we'd done what we could on video messenger we'd undressed, explored what's repressed, dangled some outrageous camera angles, loads of giggles, laughs, oohs and ahs, and secrets were shared in an abandoned way as partners in this non-standard way. We'd, he'd expelled, I'd totally rebelled against my programming that this isn't the done thing. And we both enjoyed our virtual fling. It was a joyful, sensual, loving thing. Even with distance, I felt the resonance in our strange romance. It was an encounter to remember and share and write about. And I'm not ashamed that this comes out. No touch, taste or smell, of course, but X-rated words and pictures enriched our sexy flirtation, our socially distanced masturbation. It felt better to share it with someone fun who'd bear all, who's a beautiful soul than with anonymous porn, which I usually scorn. Will we meet up? Who knows? It's tough. He's with his shielded father, rather far, and I'm too far into my life. He wants babies and a wife, but as far as a virtual thing fling goes, he's been a hurt hero for my libido, and we never know. We could meet again, don't know where, don't know when. Most likely is another virtual date, but that might stagnate. And yes, maybe it's too late since I've been temporarily blocked from Facebook Messenger from doing it there.